a very little. Let's say when you're investing, you should have an element of fear in there. You should make the assumption when you make an investment, there's some probability you'll lose it. It'll go to zero. And that's why you need to have, you know, a, 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 a reserve, like a, a backup plan, some cash set aside that if everything blows up, you're okay. I find it extraordinary when people make their first, you know, liquidity event and they have some capital that they blow it all again. That is the biggest mistake. You've got to take a nut, even if it stays in cash, or it's a very, very liquid safe security to say, that I don't touch. It goes back to what my mother taught me. Spend the interest, never the principal. I mean, look, you know, I make a lot of crazy investments. I don't touch the principal. What investments are you liking today? I'm liking very simple deals where I can understand the business model. I'll give you an example of how boring and simple and how successful it can be. Um, this is from Shark Tank. You know, I, I, do, I look at a lot of deals on Shark Tank and on Dragon's Den because I, use, I invest 5% of my net worth every year in venture deals. So I used to have to go find them. Now they come to right. me. I've got two platforms to work on. This is a Shark Tank deal. So Oprah has a hairdresser. Uh, interesting guy. He's, um, his hobby was tea. This tea you drink. And he became what's called a nose. He had a certain skill to be able to smell Ceylon teas, blend them. One day he gives, a couple of years ago, a cup of tea to Oprah while he's doing her hair. And she sips it and says, his best tea I've ever had. She goes on the show half an hour later and says, this tea, called Talbot Teas, is the best tea I've ever had. He gets orders the next day for $500,000. You know the Oprah effect. Yeah. You've heard of it, right? He can't finance that. So he comes on Shark Tank, and he's looking for $250,000. And I agree to buy 35% of the company for that. I love tea. It's so simple. Gets on Oprah, 500,000 orders, Neiman Marcus, all kinds of individuals yeah. ordering on the Internet. Simple. Tea, orders, cash flow, right? While we're in the middle of doing the deal, the show airs, and Jamba Juice, a public company, right. says, we want to be in the tea business. We love this story. We love the brand. I want to buy the company. I haven't even written the check yet. And bang, the deal's done. Wow. Yes, wow. Yeah. That's the kind of deal I like yeah. because it was simple. It's not a complicated tech story. It's tea. Tea with a brand. Now you go into a Jamba Juice anywhere in North America, that's my it's Talbot there. Teas. That's wow. right. Isn't that wonderful? It is wonderful. That's why you are. It, well, that's why I am, Mr. <laughs> wonderful. But, you know, I look at it this way. The simple deals are the ones you make money on. So I take that cash back, I redeploy it. So I like simple stories with revenue attached to them. You know, the high-tech stuff, I came out of that market, it's so complicated, so much can go wrong, so I just love deals where they see an easy path to revenue.